Okay. Team Stereo. stereo. Yeah, Pacific Rim. Uh, John from Step Up 3, the director, called us Stereo. So. Oh, right on, right on, man. Mr. Sue, so, man, so, yeah. You know. John's amazing, man. Yes. Can't wait to see Step Up 3. Yes, yes. yes. It's 3D. Yeah, man. That's going to be hot. Everything is 3D now, but the first one, the first like dance movie in 3D. Exactly. We're going to have like feet up in the air, kicking at yeah, it. Yeah, did you guys see B Girl? No? <laughs> well, you get to see it tomorrow. Yes. We, no, we already, I, I actually met the director at Freestyle Sessions. Okay. And she's been telling me about it for ages, and so we're really excited about seeing yeah, it. Yeah, man. It's, it's, you know, Jules did her thing, man. So, speaking of Jules, we heard uh, somebody had some hot love scenes with Jules. <laughs> Speak on it. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> but they, they, you know, we, they, yeah, we had some. Oh, yeah. He's stuttering. <laughs> she said she was so happy that you were so fine. She didn't even have to act. Exactly. No. Yeah, well, you know what? Jules is amazing, man. She's a sweetheart. She's a great, phenomenal dancer and a, and a wonderful person. And uh, it was it was uh, good times and a pleasure working with her. And tell us um, if, if for the people that haven't seen it about your character in Be Girl. Um, I play a teacher who's had a like. Uh, a dirty past that has now come out clean, uh, who meets Jules. I now am a teacher, you know, uh, at a community uh, church that where I'm, you know, teaching kids with breaking and, and, you know, helping out crews and just kind of being a mentor. She comes, you know, to our city. I befriend her, a little love thing kind of sparks, you know what I mean? And the friendship blossoms, you know. Hey, I... <laughs> I, we, we know you're married, yeah. so we can't talk about the, the love scene. So we're gonna. No, I'm not married. Happen. I'm not married. Oh, you're not. You're no, single? yeah, oh, yeah. That's I'm why I thought you were getting shy. So yeah, 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 you yeah. have to speak on the love no, scene. Though. No, no. She was. She blushed up. So we, we we told her that we would ask the same question. Yeah. No, we would just want to ask, how was it working with the cast of B Girl? Oh man, you know I'm a fan of B Boying. Like I, I, they got me working now. I'm in training. Yeah, I love it. Uh -oh. So, but but uh, all the guys are great, man. It's exciting. They're all very silly, very comical, very funny, and all very talented. So we had a, we had fun, man. I made a lot of a lot of friends on this set. Yeah. Were you f really familiar with the B Boying B Girl scene before? Yeah. No, before. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I was I was hip. I just didn't know each one individually and what their line of work was all the way to now. What I follow. Uh, from you know uh, Flea Rock, Stilo, you know what I mean. Uh, just uh, uh, so many, everybody, you know what I mean. Um, so I, I follow everybody's work lightly, but when I got to know them personally, I, I, I dug a lot deeper. Yeah. Well, we gotta ask you too. You know, l past weekend. Just this one. Oh yeah, just sure. My mic went out. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. So this past weekend, they had the first ever hip hop auditions for the Academy Awards. You know, we were asking all the other dancers here. Just what are your thoughts on the future of dance and it becoming more mainstream and, and into the... Man, hip-hop is hip-hop. It, it, to me, it's always mainstream. It's just seasonal like anything else. Things go dormant, come back. Life is a full circle, you know what I mean? People talk about breaking, you know, it's hot in the 80s. Breaking's been hot since the 90s. They just, it's evolved. It's turning into something completely different. And, you know, it, things look like they go away, but they don't. They're only getting better quietly. You know what I mean? The whole time everybody with a mainstream thought, you know, we're only break dances anymore. Oh, oh no. I like how he got oh, in the white boy voice when he said that. He's like, <laughs> nobody breaks anymore. <laughs> well, you know, they, 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 the academies, it's not, you know, it ain't me I running. Know, I know, you know. Uh, <laughs> I we'll, know. I think we'll let the hip hop head spinners get in on the uh, action this year. Yeah. yeah, I love the white boy voice. It's all good. I do it too. I ain't mad. Well, you got to tell everybody why do they need to go to the stores and buy the DVD tomorrow? I mean, at the end of the day, it's a clean, fun film. Your kids can watch, get inspired, you know, to dance, to follow their dreams, to overcome their fears, and you know, um, and it's just a, it's, it's a it's a it's a good-hearted film. It's you know, it's got some laughs in it, and it's uh, sincere. And do you have any projects coming up? Other than B-Girl? The reason why I'm late is because I just got off set. So I'm working on a project now. I uh, did a project a couple of months ago called The Obama Effect, starring Charles S. Dutton, who was in Legion with Tyrese and is a thespian, uh, Vanessa Bell Calloway, Megan Good, Zab Judah, Mac 10, Tashina Arnold, uh, Glenn Turman, uh, Cat Williams. Um, Sounds like a fun cast right yeah. there. Um, I'm also a, re a reoccurring guest star on a TV show called Love That Girl, produced by Martin Lawrence, that's on TV One. 
and I'm missing things, but yeah. You're busy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's all you gotta say. That's good that you have so many projects you can't remember them all. That's a good Some, thing. Well, sometimes I don't get like that. Sometimes you remember the last one, and you're like, all right. <laughs> You, and you were in, you were on Cold Case, right? The TV yeah, show. Yeah, Cold Case, CSI. Yeah, but the, yeah, the last thing I did was Cold Case. Yeah, no, I remember that because I'm addicted to the show, and I remember seeing you yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah, my, I have my, that was my real hair, my afro. I cut oh, it. What? Yeah. It's always my rare when I wear my afro. <laughs> I've never worn a wig ever. Okay, yeah. cool. You got if you're gonna do an afro again, you better grow it out quick. My hair grows fast. That's how I get away with like always <laughs> landing a spot when my hair is out. Yeah, like. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. My pleasure. Thank you for talking thank to me. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. And go get the DVD. Yes. Tomorrow. B girl. Tomorrow. <laughs>